This is lesson one of solving linear equations in math nine. So for an easier version of this topic, check out my math eight lessons. Um, here I'm gonna show you how to solve two step linear equations, um, but there are gonna be some fractions and decimals involved. Um, what I want you to think about today as we go through the lesson is the order in which we're doing these operations. So when we're solving an equation, that means we're solving for the variable. We're finding out what the variable is equal to. Um, we go in the opposite order to bed mass and we use opposite operations. So we go in an order that is opposite to bed mass. So we start with any adding and subtracting. Um, and then we move to multiplying and dividing. So this is the order that is opposite to what you would normally do when you're just evaluating an expression with just numbers. Um, then we move to exponents, which we won't see today. And then finally to brackets or grouping, which again, we won't see today. Okay. Um, so all of these are two steps, but there is going to be um, a little trick to do with the, when we see the um, fractions. Okay. So here we see uh, two columns. Um, on the left side, we're going to solve. That means find out what the variable is equal to. By the variable, I mean the letter in most cases. And then verify that our answer is correct. So just double check our work. Okay. All right. So um, let's solve this equation. It's 5 minus 3x equals 26. And my job here is going to be to isolate or get the x all by itself by performing opposite operations. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the 5. And what I can do to get rid of the five is subtract five from both sides. So what you do to the one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side as well to keep everything balanced. So once I subtract the five, five minus five is zero. So that goes away and I'm just left with negative three X. And on the right hand side, 26 minus five is 21. Now I want to keep um, going with my opposite operations and get rid of that negative three. So the negative three is being multiplied with the X. So we're gonna do the opposite of that, which is dividing. So we're gonna divide both sides by negative three. Negative three divided by negative three is one. So we'll have one X, which you can just write as X. And then 21 divided by negative three is negative seven. And there we go, there's our final solution. X equals negative seven. We've isolated X on the left-hand side there. So when we want to verify or check that this solution is in fact right and we haven't made any mistakes here, we want to substitute the X on the left-hand side. So LHS stands for left-hand side, RHS stands for right-hand side. We want to substitute X with the number that we think it's equal to and just ensure that the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side. So basically make sure the equation is valid. So we are going to put the number negative seven, right where that X is, and we're going to evaluate this. So this time we do go in the order of bed mass. So we're going to multiply first. So negative three times negative seven is positive 21. And then we're going to add here five plus 21 is 26. And we do see that 26 is equal to 26. We verified that the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side when we plug in negative seven. Um, so we've checked our work here. All right. Next level up, we have some fractions this time. So same process, we're gonna solve this equation, we're gonna isolate n, but first thing we're gonna do here is a little trick to get rid of the fractions, because fractions are not ideal to work with. Um, it's easier if we don't have them, and there's a nice little trick you can do to get rid of them at the very beginning. So what we want, what we want to do is multiply both sides of the equation, that's why I've put the brackets, by a number that will essentially cancel out these denominators that I've highlighted in blue. So we want to think of something that both four and eight go into nicely. So the lowest common multiple of those two numbers. Um, so here we're going to multiply everything by eight. So both sides of the equal sign. So we're keeping everything balanced. We're not changing the solution of the equation by doing this. We're just writing it in an equivalent way that's easier to work with. Okay, so let's multiply both sides by eight. And we'll have 16n plus, now 8 times 3 divided by 8 is just 3. So the 8s kind of cancel each other out there. And then on the right hand side, we do 8 times 1 divided by 4. So we get negative 2. All right. So now I don't have any fractions and I'm just going to solve like before. And I'm going to focus on isolating n. 
and doing opposite operations. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of the 3. We have a plus 3 here, so we'll subtract 3 to get rid of it. We do that to both sides. So we're left with 16n equals negative 5. And then I'm going to isolate n here by dividing by 16 since we... And you can write division with a division symbol or you can kind of write it like a fraction like I'm doing here. Either one is okay. And we'll have n equals... And this does not reduce and it doesn't equal anything nice. So I'm just going to leave it as a fraction for, for my final answer here. So negative 5 over 16. That's my final solution for n. And I'm going to check that that's correct. So let's go ahead and substitute what we think is the answer in for n on the left-hand side and see if that expression equals negative 1 quarter the right-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and replace n with negative 5 over 16. And let's evaluate that. So um, I can reduce this to 1 over 8. So I'm going to do that. Divide the numerator and denominator by 2. So I get negative 5 over 8 plus 3 over 8. And I've got a common denominator, so that's nice and straightforward to add together. So I'll get negative 2 over 8. And negative 2 over 8 can be reduced by dividing by 2 to negative 1 over 4. And we see that's equal to the right-hand side, so I have um, balanced my equation. Okay, next level up. I would recommend if you're feeling pretty confident, maybe pause the video here and try this one on your own using the trick I showed you on the last example. So here we want to think of something that um, is a common, lowest common multiple of 6, 3, and 2 um, to get rid of those fractions. So I'm going to choose 6 because 6, 3, and 2 all go nice and evenly into 6. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. So I'll get 1 equals 2x minus, so to evaluate this, I would go 6 times 5, which is 30, divided by 2, so 50. Now I'm going to solve like normal. So I'm going to add 15 to both sides. I'm going a little faster now because I've shown you a few. 16 equals 2x, and then divide by 2. So I get 8 equals x. Now for verifying, again, if you would like to, you can pause here and try on your own if you like. So I'm going to substitute what I think is the solution. Oops, I just erased that by accident. Press the wrong button. There we go. I'm going to substitute what I think is the solution in for x here. So I'm going to 8 over 3 minus 5 over 2. I'm going to create a common denominator, which is 6. So I'm going to multiply this one by 3 and this one by 2. So I'll get 16 over 6 minus 15 over 6, which is 1 over 6. 1 over 6 is equal to the left-hand side, so I have verified my solution here. Okay, last one. This one, um, again, we can, uh, we could get rid of the decimals by multiplying both sides. You can kind of choose. It's up to you. Uh, if you feel comfortable working with the decimals, you can. I'll just work with them here and see how that goes. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that positive 7 on the right-hand side because I'm trying to isolate for m. So I'm going to subtract 7. So I have 6.25 minus 7, which is negative 0 0.75, negative 12.5m. And then I'm going to divide by negative 12.5. Use a calculator for that. And I get 0 0.06 equals m. Okay, let's check. Again, you can pause the video here if you want to try this on your own. So I'm going to substitute what I think is the answer for m, which is 0 0.06. So negative 12.5 times 0 0.06 is negative 0 0.75, and 7 minus 0.75 is 6.25. So I have verified that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal to each other, so we're good to go.